good to be here at this time spending half an hour with our lord and master thanking and worshiping and adoring god for all the blessings of today and interceding for the whole world let us make it this half an hour in a fruitful and in a worthy manner wherever you are at this time participating this night adoration and benediction thank god for all his blessings to us personally and to the members of our families today the gift of life and god's providence and protection throughout our travel and all that what we experienced this day good thoughts good desires and the events and the incidents everything people who influenced us and people who requested our prayers surrender everything at the feet of jesus in the beginning spend one or two minutes in silence thanking god for our own personal life thanking god for vocation and the people whom god has given us on earth as family as companions thank god for each and every single one Brothers and sisters, let us reflect upon the first reading and the gospel passage of today. Three or four minutes. Listening God's word and ponder upon it and take what is necessary and needed to each one of us. The first reading we heard today, how St. Paul said, how he describes his travel and what made him to be friendly with the particular people especially the pagans as we have read today when he entered into a particular village he could see that people are worshiping a particular idol and it is written the unknown god and immediately he started to preach to the people i am preaching to you about that unknown god and that is jesus christ christ of nazareth the prudence and the practicality of life 
in his vocation and in his life. Not only in the ministry of the Lord, even in our own families. It's good to have that prudence. One of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Most of us many a time behave not prudently always. It happens with everyone. Sometimes some people commented us because of our imprudence. Maybe a minute or a, some moments to reflect how prudent I am in my life. Being a follower of Christ how prudent I am in my day-to-day -day activities. Good to reflect. It's not that we are completely perfect people, but it's good to have that thought and to be prudent that help our life. In the Gospel, as we are all preparing for Pentecost, it's very beautifully written about the third person in the Trinity, that is the Holy Spirit. When we read today's Gospel, we may not understand immediately. Not only we, who can understand about the Triune God, the Trinity? Theology is not enough. You can't experiment this in any of the laboratories. We believe holy, we believe in Holy Spirit because Jesus said about it after resurrection. I'm going to Father, I'm going to send the helper. It is just because of Jesus' words that we believe in Holy Spirit. There is no other evidence. There is nothing visible for us being humans. It's just because Jesus said about it. And when we look into the whole Bible, maybe the three main starting connected with the world, the first sentence in the Bible about the Holy Spirit before the creation the whole creation. And before the birth of Jesus, again, we read about the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God coming to Mother Mary. And again, in the institution of the Holy Catholic Church, we read again the powerful walking of the Holy Spirit, the three main events in the whole universe. Maybe in creation, the birth of Jesus and even the birth of the church. How Holy Spirit is actively working from the day one till today. And today's gospel. When we go through today's gospel, Jesus speaks. And Jesus keep on sharing. When Spirit speaks something, He speaks on my behalf. Not only that, whatever the Spirit speaks, not only from me, what I received it from my Father. I look at it like this. Today's Gospel gives an idea about how close the triune God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. 
how the Trinity works in the life of God's children. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit intervenes in the life of each one of us every day. So we thank God, especially Spirit of God, third person in the Trinity. Thank God for today's first reading where Apostle is teaching each one of us to have this quality of prudence. And how we need to mingle, how we need to inculturate, how, need, how we need to friendly with the people by respecting their culture, by knowing them, not imposing something of my own, just to understand them first. And the gospel about the Holy Spirit, it is the Spirit teaches the whole truth. Maybe we can keep one minute silence thanking God for the gift of Holy Spirit which is working mightily in the church today which helps each one of us when we are weak and troubled. We can say a small prayer towards Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being a strength at the time of my weakness. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all good inspirations. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with me at the time when I am completely down. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding my everyday life. Also, we acknowledge the moments we did not heed, we did not listen and obey the Spirit of the Lord. Instead, moved in our own ways, listening, human spirit connected with the selfishness and our preferences and likings. Brothers and sisters, let us intercede for the whole world. Praying for the countries where the COVID-19 virus is really doing a big, great damage. And the countries where it is, the cases are increasing. We pray for such countries. We offer all the Middle East countries, Asian countries, and Europe and North and South America where The cases are reporting daily in hundreds and thousands. We remember
Remember all the patients. Their agonies and their pains. Lord, we wish complete healing of COVID-19 patients across the world. We wish and we pray. Help them. We offer their family members with all that they are undergoing right now. All kinds of negative thinking and all kinds of troubles and trials and all kinds of chaos and dilemmas in their own families thinking about their beloved ones. Lord, we pray tonight, look after them, your children. Also, we remember those doctors and nurses in those countries where it's really the numbers are going high due to many reasons. We remember all those doctors and nurses and the health care, the entire departments. Lord, bless their hard work and protect them and their families. We offer every single one who is struggling now, especially people who are in who are with the tears due to the departure of their beloved ones due to COVID-19. Even people who departed from this world at this season of COVID-19, maybe with some other serious sickness and illness. Many could not go, even the closer relatives could not go for burial. We offer all this pain. People who, are, people who are with deep sorrows, disappointed and sad this evening and tonight. Lord, give you hope. Thousands of people lost their jobs these days. Thousands of families are undergoing financial crisis. Even though we cannot understand their pain as it is, but at this time, a humble prayer with faith, Lord, bless them. Lord, open. Open an, uh, open a door in front of them for their rescue. Help them. Strengthen their situations right now. People who can't sleep thinking whether they lose their job or the activities that they do now due to this pandemic. <clears throat> we remember elderly people with their old age difficulties and all those who are living single. Brothers and sisters, let us sum up all our prayers and petitions at the feet of Jesus. People who requested us prayers today from different parts of the world. So many prayer requests we received at the Divine today about people who are in ventilators, especially one child. And 
about the people who lost their jobs and all other praise whatever it is whatever that you received today or these days offer it to the feet of Jesus remember them say a small prayer for them surrendering our prayers let us recite psalm 91 you who live in the shelter of the most high who abide in the shadow of the almighty will say to the lord my refuge and my fortress my god in whom i trust for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge the most high your dwelling place no evil shall befall you no scourge come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against the stone you will tread on the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you will trample under foot those who love me i will deliver i will protect those who know my name when they call to me i will answer them i will be with them in trouble i will rescue them and honor them with long life i will satisfy them and show them my salvation wherever you are at this time if possible kindly kneel down let us sing down in adoration prepare ourselves for benediction Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
the divine praises blessed be god blessed be his holy name blessed be jesus christ true god and true man blessed be the name of jesus blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most precious blood blessed be jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete blessed be the great mother of god mary most holy blessed be her holy and immaculate conception blessed be her glorious assumption blessed be the name of mary virgin and mother blessed be saint joseph her most chaste spouse blessed be god in his angels and in his saints amen